Now we're talking. We've got a 1957 Oldsmobile 98. That's their top of the line. And this thing is loaded. Continental kit in the back. J2 tri-power under the hood and factory air conditioning under the hood that's actually working. And the list goes on and on from there. Spotlights, genuine leather upholstery, the Autronic uh, headlight dimmer. Go to volocars.com. That's where you can read all the information, study uh, pictures top to bottom. And that's where you'll find a price tag on every car along with an easy monthly payment. We also have a buy it now button. I highly suggest you see a car you fall in love with, click the button, that just locks it in for you before someone else beats you to it. If you enjoy the videos, don't forget to subscribe and then click on the bell icon if you wanna be notified when the new ones are posted. But for right now, join me, let's go for a spin. Yeah, take a minute to just take all this in, all 19 feet of it, beautiful car. Uh, factory onyx black car, and it is like a mirror. It is straight as a laser beam. So I guess we'll start up here and make it official. Yeah, absolutely laser beam straight. Hood lines up beautifully. This, this is a mirror. I'm looking into a mirror. It's absolutely square. There are some little blisters in the paint right up here. The rocker panel, bottom of the door, smooth and clean. Little tiny bump right there. Quarter panels absolutely straight. The fender skirts fit spot on. Not a dent, no body work showing, no shrinkage, no issues. You got the big old Continental kit hanging off the back. This is absolutely, I keep saying laser beam straight because it is like I'm looking in a mirror. Look how nice the skirt fits. Flush, square, it's all nice and smooth. Oh, that shuts like new. Smooth all along here. Fenders are clean. All lines up beautifully. Body's outstanding. Got the couple little blisters on the other side, and that's it. And the paint, I didn't really notice uh, any chips or cracking or any issues. And I always say, I'm sure there are some. Like, here's a little tiny little nick right there. But this is all nice and smooth and painted. So the paint's incredible. Nope, that's fuzz. That came right off. Yeah, excellent, excellent paint. And you might have noticed there's a white band painted in the trim there. The trim, that's stainless steel, very straight and shiny, only mild, very light surface scratches. Looks like the chrome vent window frame has been re-chromed. Genuine GM spotlights. It says GM right on it here. Uh, the stainless trim is real nice. The base on the wipers is shiny. Windshield was replaced as crystal clear. The rubber gasket is soft. The back bumper, big tail lights with reverse lights. All this is shiny. All this chrome is probably an eight or nine out of 10. Looks really sharp. And we're gonna have to find out where they put the gas. There we go. There's the gas. The optional fender skirts has the tri bar uh, correct hubcaps in real nice shape with uh, Coker Classic radial white wall tires, power antenna, dual spotlights. The mirror is real nice. We bought this car from the estate of a collector. We got three cars from this gentleman. He's owned this car since 1993. So 30 year ownership from a car collector. So yeah, the outside of the car is amazing. There's pictures of the convertible top on our website. It's a nice, rich, black canvas top. The vinyl costs about half what the canvas costs. Uh, and again, pictures on our website, you can see that. So up front, this big mouth grill. Some of the chrome did flake off right there in that spot. But the rest of it is real shiny and straight. The emblem, the center spear, the rockets. All look great. It has correct T3 headlamps. The emblems are sparkling. So you got one spot of chrome peeled off, and you got one blister right here. And other than that, the outside of this car, I'm going to say is a nine. Let's check out the inside. 
Okay, here's inside the trunk, and what a big trunk compartment it is. The bottom side of the trunk lid's painted nicely. It has a sticker, has a trunk light, new weather strip. Inside has the complete gray liner kit uh, with the cardboard side panels. This is just an aftermarket mat. Uh, then it has a reproduction white wall tire. It's never been used on a painted rim. Complete jack assembly is painted up nicely. And that does include this car cover here. And it'll go with it. That's a big trunk. That's a long piece of weather strip. I was just looking at that. There's a CD changer in there as well. It's an impressive car. So the door jams are nice. The door panels uh, match the seat. They're tricolor, gray, black, white. It has the chrome piping. They're in real nice shape. The armrest is genuine leather. So look at all this great stuff. Uh, padded dash is optional. This is the automatic headlight dimmer. This is so you can see the traffic light that used to hang in the middle of the stoplight. You have air conditioning vent, so it is a factory air car. You have an optional clock. Now down here, look at all the chrome, the oval speedometer. Look at all the buttons and levers. Uh, power top switch, power antenna, it's a Wonder Bar radio. Uh, Ken and Ruth must have been the owners. That is painted on. Someone would have to uh, remove that. You have a tissue dispenser. We have working interior lights. Carpet is good under this mat. This mat has seen better days. Now this here had a stereo. I have to see if the family still has the stereo around. Uh, here's the front of the stereo. We're just missing the stereo. Uh, but I left this in here because I thought it was kind of cool. He was here for our 2005 George Barris car show. George Barris was here. His signature was on here. It looks like it's rubbed off. You can barely see it. But this was at a car show held right here in 2005. Now, the seats could be original. This is genuine leather. They're actually soft, nice shape. Uh, it is soft. It's not hard, but it has the... The crinkles and the leather. It's three colors. Seat belts were added front and back. Uh, back seat is also leather in better shape because you use less. Uh, I just mentioned the speakers are on the floor as part of that stereo. The top boot is genuine leather. I, you can see from the back side it's leather, but it too uh, maybe it could just be re dyed uh, to make it look a little fresher. Yeah, power windows, power seat. As of right now, the power seat, this is the position it's in. That wasn't working. Steering wheel's beautiful. Look at that big chrome horn ring in the middle. Yeah. Oh, and it has some uh, aftermarket vintage gauges, some Stuart Warner gauges down below there. You can keep an eye on your oil pressure and temperature a little more accurately. So, yeah, full of options in there. Now this is one packed engine compartment. I think the motor is a 371 making 300 horsepower. That's the J2. Underneath this giant air cleaner, there's three uh, carburetors. It runs off the second one and about three quarter throttle. All three of them are open and that's when she really takes off. So that in itself is rare and desirable factory air conditioning and remember it's a 1957 convertible who would put air in a convertible and a tri-power probably someone with a lot of money and this blows my mind the air works we charge the air it's blowing cold i'm not going to guarantee the air conditioning in a 1957 car that's still going to be working six months from now but we put free on it and it's working uh, that's amazing the entire engine compartment's nice and clean. It has the uh, underhood lamp. It has the original tag on the wall. It says it was a factory black car. It has three horns up front here. Usually there's two. I like the AC lines. They're polished. 
And we got power steering, we got power brakes, electric wipers. Uh, yeah, just a lot going on in here. Overall, very clean and proper and, you know, the way it should be. for a cruise. I feel like a celebrity driving this thing. Big body. Uh, when you think of classic cars, this is exactly what you think of. And man, this thing is sweet. We picked a okay day, but we put the top down just for the, the vibes. Um, power windows work great. Almost a little too great when you go up and down very effortlessly. The heat is working. How do I know? Because I have it on right now. It's not the warmest outside. do work they light up a second so it does light up on the dash and they do cancel so let's see what this thing does it does have that v8 in it Possibly the coolest car that I've gotten to test drive yet. Brakes work really well. This is just such a fun cruising driving car. Uh, drives very smooth. Whoever picks this up is definitely going to be happy with it. Uh, this thing's awesome. So underneath this car looks to be rock solid. The frame is clean. The floors are clean. Has a dual exhaust with the glass pack style mufflers. Uh, you know the front end components. They've been apart. They're not caked in grease. They've they've been worked on. The shocks at all four corners look like they've been replaced. Uh, car drives really well. Um, you will have a couple more questions for the salesman. There's a couple switches under the dash. I'm not sure what they're for. Um, you got to ask him if we found the stereo. If not, it does have the speakers, the CD changer, or speakers up under the dash, so you can put a stereo in. I uh, said the power seat right now is not working, but look at the big picture. Where are you going to find a 57 Olds 98 J2 Tri Power factory air loaded with options in this good a condition? This is a rare, special find. I wanted to point out by the Autronic Eye, I just noticed there's a little split 
in the vinyl covering. So it's not a perfect car, but it's a really good car. Uh, so go to volocars.com. Salesmen can help answer those questions, including how to get it delivered to your garage. You might want to measure your garage before you buy this one, and they can help you get it financed. If you enjoy the video, subscribe to our YouTube channel, click the bell icon, and you'll be notified when the next one is posted. Thanks for watching.